Brothers and sisters in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, good morning. Good morning. morning. My friend Ravi Zacharias often says that the ultimate test of any civilization is how we treat our most vulnerable, what we do with our children. And that absolutely is a test of the health of a church and the health of a Christian, in fact. What we do with the most vulnerable in society, especially the children. So on behalf of the high schoolers and leaders of Total Devotion, I want to present to you the opportunity to literally transform the lives and the eternal lives of some of the most vulnerable in the world, orphaned children with special needs. You see, adoption is at the heart of the gospel. God opened the doors of heaven, sent both Jesus and the Holy Spirit to reach out to those spiritually dead. That's us. To bring us home to be his children. The Godhead gave until it hurt. Ephesians 1.5 declares, He predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ according to the purpose of his will. The purpose of adopting us. And God's church, I believe, is to be the primary source of solving the orphan crisis in the world. God's design is for humans to be in close community, starting with a family. And giving children a loving and permanent family is infinitely better than raising them in an institution. I mean, that's proven fact. As God's adopted children, we are called to extend his gracious heart and hands of adoption to these children. We are called to inconvenience ourselves, and we are called to give until it hurts. Because we're called to accurately represent the kind of father we have. Amen? Amen. It's true. Well, many of God's children understand this, and they are ready and they are willing to be a family to those orphan children. But they face prohibitive financial costs that come with adoption. Adoptions can cost anywhere from thirty to forty thousand dollars to do this, and in many, many cases, the only thing standing in the way of a child coming home to a family is money. That's it, money. The stuff that many of us have too much of. Enter voiceless for the voiceless. Some of the high schoolers of TD that you see before you, and these are some of them, as well as TD's leaders, will be going without our voices for 30 hours to do something significant for those who don't have a voice in their own futures. We're raising money for adoption aid grants that will be issued through Show Hope, which administers these grants to help cover some of the costs of adoption for Christian families seeking to adopt. That's $6,000 per grant. The process of getting this grant is rigorous and uh, thorough to ensure good stewardship. To date, Show Hope has administered over 6,800 grants, and that represents more than one adoption of a child per day since they opened their doors in 2003. Not everyone is called to adopt. I know that. But everyone is called to do something. And so if you are not in the process of adopting yourself, um, which is most of you, we want to humbly invite you to join us in bringing children home to Christian families so they can feel the love and the permanence of a family and by extension of God as they hear and experience the gospel. Not only the gospel's ideas, but they, they, would, they would feel the gospel with their hands. So we ask that you prayerfully consider generously supporting some of the TDers and the TD leaders as we raise money for these adoption grants. Sponsor a few of them. The money that we raise will specifically be used to help children um, with special needs in China to come home. There are tons of children waiting. We've met many of them, so my family has. But there are many, many waiting Christian families here, ready to receive them. Together, we can help fill some of this gap. 
And so as an added incentive, um, there are some generous families in our congregation here who have agreed to provide $25,000 worth of dollar for dollar matching grants. In the words of maybe Adam Smith, I didn't, I'll paraphrase, that's, that's double your money. <laughs> that's a good investment. If we can raise and match that 25,000, that's $50,000 towards bringing children home and changing their lives literally forever. And so thank you so much for your prayerful consideration and for what you're going to do in the, in the, in the days to come, in the month to come. You've helped so much in the past and we've done some amazing things together in the past. Look forward to what's going to happen in the future here in this next month until every child has a home. Thank you so much.